Uh, it's for vlogging purposes. You can hear me okay, right? Yeah, I can hear you. You don't have to scream. <laughs> well, I need to make sure my viewers can hear me. Yeah, it's kind of loud in here. Uh, yeah. I didn't think there would be that many people here. Coming in at 6.30. Today's Friday. Yeah, I know. People want to go out after work. Huh. <laughs> I assume that a lot of people work at home nowadays. Yeah, a lot of people do. You go to school from home, right? Uh, at least I did for a good part of the last semester. Yeah, and you're going to do it this semester too, right? Yeah, uh, that's what I think. Anyway... I decided to take the new shirt prop I made in GIMP and to use the eraser tool on the Lunapic website in order to reduce it down to a circle with a mustard and a blood stain. Which, and for the blood stains, I was able to get the color right thanks to you. Yeah, because the other one looked kind of brownish. Yeah, but it was intended to look like a dark red, like yeah. a sort of dried blood. That's yeah. what I was intending. Well, I guess blood does turn brownish, you know. Uh, because the Uber driver got uh, shot in the leg with a revolver. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And uh, Michael, Caesar's dad, had to use his shirt to uh, put pressure on the wound, so to speak. Or at least try to do that. Wow. Uh, yes, I have. But uh, this is pretty much dinner at this point. Well, uh, true. All right, shut it down until we get dinner. Uh, but I have things to discuss on what I did today. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna uh, order food in a little bit. Oh, okay. I think she's coming. All right. You know, I'm really enjoying all the new features that the Dolingo app has compared to the Dolingo website. Good. It's helped. It's helped to increase my motivation for learning Spanish. Good. You taking another Spanish class, right? Yes, I am. You bet, I am. Muy bien. Muy bien. Hoy es Vernes. I'm not entirely sure if I pronounce the word for Friday entirely correctly, but it's uh, Martes. No, wait, that's Tuesday. Lunes. Bartes, Miracles, Jueves, Vernes, Sabado, and Domingo. Sorry for the wait, and I'll be back to take your work. It's okay. Cheers, Dad. Cheers, John. Happy Friday. Feliz Vernes. Does that mean Happy Friday? Yeah. Feliz means happy in Spanish. Very good. Well, this tastes pretty good. I'll have to go somewhere, maybe tomorrow, and uh, get the ingredients for that. Okay. Maybe we'll have that with the steak. Maybe I'll get steak. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I hope you do. I got about a hundred dollars in uh, coupons or gift cards uh, at Wegmans. Mm. So everything you get is paid for. Right? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, on mine. And then you want everything, right, Tyler? Yeah, everything on mine, please. Hot sauce and onions? On mine, yes. Thank you. And no problem. Uh, yeah, the Dolingo story I showed you was uh, was one in which in which uh, Bray and her friend went to a what I presume was a pretty fancy restaurant. because they both got ended up getting fish with wine. Do you want to film me for a bit? Sure. It's already filming. <laughs> it is. Hi, Ty. Hi, Dad. How's your drink? Tastes pretty nice and sweet. Nice. Feeling good today? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I was just uh, feeling a bit tired earlier, and I was uh, coughing at times, so I had a bottle of water earlier. Oh, that's why you probably go home and fall asleep, right? Yeah, it's a likelihood. Oh, that's all right. Then you'll get back on a good sleep. Maybe tomorrow we'll get up and go and get breakfast. That's Maybe. So, that sounds awesome. All right. There you go. Are you referring to our trip to pick up Brianna? I don't think we're going because of the snow. Oh. We'll have to go at another time. All right. And it's going to be cold. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's, it's cold out now. It's like four degrees. Yeah, where would we get breakfast then? Either the Blue Ridge or maybe the um, maybe we'll go to the um, the, the um, hotel right next to us. We haven't been there. That'd be a different place. Oh, and if there's you no, know, I don't think there'll be anybody. So you can probably tell me. Huh. We'll, we'll we'll check it out, right? Yeah, it sounds awesome. Uh, thanks, Dad. We just got to get up. And like I said, I only thing I got to do, I got to get to the bank and go to Whiteman. I looked around your closet a bit today so I could uh, take a picture of one of your shirts uh, sort of crumpled up into a ball. My shirt was crumpled up into a ball? Yes, because... Uh, what was it? It was the it was a white shirt with uh, some gray on it. Why did you take a picture of it? Because I couldn't find uh, any pictures online off of Bing images. Basically, that that would have given it clean me or what? Not clean. Presumably clean. I found it on a hanger in the closet, and then I put it back on a hanger. All right. Yeah, and then I used a uh, lunapic to isolate the shirt from the wall and the top of that dresser cover. That's why I moved those uh, styrofoams today. All right. And I'll try to work on a. Uh, Captain Marvel some more for you. Okay. Yeah, get those done and then do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Thanks. Or, or you do Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy? Yeah, look it up. They're comedians back in like the 30s. You mean those slapstick guys? Yeah. Yeah, Laurel and Hardy. That'd be good. Or you uh, can do Leave it to Beaver. 
The whole leave it to beaver cast? I don't know, maybe. I mean, you got a lot of uh, different stuff. Huh. I'm kind of hungry. No, oh, you're feeling hungry? Yeah. Huh. Didn't I have those leftover sandwiches around 3 p.m.? Yeah. Oh, they were pretty good for being about a day old. They're probably better. Everything, all the juices suck up. You know? Oh, uh, yeah, it had that sort of, uh... That good old tuny e and old mayo sandwich smell. Did you uh, do you know what the bread is? Sourdough bread. Do you taste the sourdough in it or the sour cream? I'm not sure I do. Yeah, you do. Next time I'll tell you. Yeah, though the bread was noticeably more stale, but hey, it was still good. That's what matters, right? Right. I mean, the sandwiches weren't moldy. They didn't taste bad. So hey, that's a success. Right. Plus, we didn't waste the sandwiches. Right. I'll probably bring you home on Sunday, though. Why? So do you want to see Mom again or no? Of you'll, course. You'll today and tomorrow, and I'll bring you home on Sunday. Okay. Hopefully that's then enough. Then you got to figure out what you're going to do, Ty, after high, after high school, after college. Brianna says she might get a job because Mateo's going to go to college in uh, Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. University of George Washington. George Mason, or something like that. Huh. So you gotta figure out what you're gonna do. Uh, perhaps they'll start the side hustle of doing star film drawing commissions. Well, you can do that. And uh, while I do that, I'll go to law school or something. And also, I still want to work on those uh, Dan Hamming videos. Right, I know you do. I mean, I have the, I have about a hundred and sixty pictures of a hundred and sixty different star foams on my phone. Oh yeah. In Which a, one's your favorite? Which hmm. one is your best one? Huh. Which one was your first one? A small star foam that I made the drawing on using a pencil. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Do you still have it? Yeah, I should still have it somewhere. Virtually all of the star foams are either at your place. Or mom's? Yeah. Or down in the basement? Yeah, at mom's or in my room. Or uh, there's a few within the living room area. Yeah. I like them all time. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I hope you'll like uh, Captain Marvel, too. What's that? I hope you'll like Captain Marvel, too. I will. I know I will. I like that Deadpool. Deadpool, Iron Man, I like Spawn. I think my best one, I like uh, uh, Groot. Groot's pretty good. I uh, was predicting that in my head. You did, you did like the tree part with the lines and everything, and the way he looks. Oh, uh, well, I have uh, years of experience. I know, and you're, and you're getting better. I got so good, not because of any natural talent I had, but because I kept practicing at it. Yeah, I know. Same thing goes with the Dan Hamming videos. I know. I have 98 episodes up on my YouTube channel. And how many people have you done all together? How many people have you had? 
does it take a total of all the all 98 over a million uh, maybe I'm thinking half more realistically half a million but that's, that's still a lot that's still pretty good time half a million people 500,000 yeah for a bit of research I recently found out that the 98 episodes come out to a total length of 11 hours oh yeah yeah Huh. By using a third-party website. Now, what brought you? What gave you that idea to get the name of Dan Hammond? I think that idea came to me randomly, and I thought that it would be funny. I know it is pretty good. As for what got me into making Go Animate videos. It was when I saw a Go Animate animation on Newgrounds back in 2013. Hmm. When do I have to pay for that $600 again? Sometime uh, in March? August, I think. Oh, oh, all right, we got time. Cause I gotta look. In, I gotta look into getting a house. I gotta put a lot of money down on it. Yeah, I know that's what you want to do. I gotta get out of that apartment. Yeah, they uh, chopped all the trees down for seemingly no good reason. Now, it's brighter, but I don't know. It's certainly not worth worth the trade-off of uh, having there be less shade and more heat, is it? I, oh, it's gonna it's gonna be hot. Yeah. And I noticed during the night it's brighter. The moonlight's brighter because there's no trees to block the moonlight. Uh -huh. But you know, it's their place. They can do what they want. I don't I don't have to stay there. True. I'm almost, I'm uh, 875 prestige. I have uh, another 125 to go, and then after a thousand, you're done. Huh. Why do you uh, play those games so much? There's nothing else to do. I mean, I can watch TV. You know, I could try to t teach you how to make a do some practice with Beyond videos. Although, obviously, it's intended for making videos for a business, though that's generally not what I do. I started off using GoAnimate as a hobby right. to make creations that I would enjoy. That's how I got started, because that's how, well, how the website was, and that's generally what I continue to do. Though so obviously the potential is there to make videos for a business. Oh, it looks pretty good. You got... These, that one, alright, I think, alright, that, do you want the tray? Um, sure. I'll take that, and then, this one's mine too, right? Right, thank you. Thank, thank you. You can use the tray, Ty. Oh. Oh, okay. Put it on the tray. I don't know how you can eat that with um, Kelman. <laughs> Want ketchup? Yes, please. I don't. I need some. Oh, sorry. There's yours. Right, there you go. Thanks.
How is it? No, the fries are good. Mm -hmm. And the leftover Szechuan wontons and uh, Singapore noodles yeah. that I had at noon. There's more of that too. It was pretty good. And the coffee you gave me around seven or eight was pretty good. And then I gave you more coffee after that. Yeah. It was in the AM. Just showing my burger. Wait. I think that one, that one's mine. This one's yours. I think Brianna's calling me. I I was able to get a new province expansion for my city in Elvinar. We were able to do what? Get a new province expansion for my city in Elvinar. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's good, right? Yep. Thanks. I used it so I could expand my dwarven settlement by specifically by building more granite mines. Yeah. yeah. I currently need that for my current research upgrades. About a third of the way into the dwarves chapter. Hmm. I found a place called Ugly Duck's Coffee. It's in the city. But I don't know if they take people where you can actually sit there. Oh. Looks pretty good though. I'm hoping we'll be able to go there soon. And when I look at those photos of me being at Italy and Greece, makes me feel pretty good. I know. With all the catch. And all the gelato. <laughs> So what did you hear of this uh, four burger and a big thing of fries deal? I thought I saw a coupon for it. I'll have to look on the coupon thing. 
24 hours for a, a, a big a, a basket of fries and four burgers. And I assume we would only get one of those. Uh, it's big. We would share it. Mm, all right. But this ain't bad. I uh, hate hey, good food. And that song I play during the car right here, where we went for a winter wonderland. Good song, right? Yeah, it was Don't Let Me Down by Milky Chance. Very good. It's great. Was that both alone? No, Milky Chance. That's right. Post Malone is different. Different singer. Different musician. <laughs> All the burgers. Good. It's already filming. I know. Burgers are good. One down, one to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, John. Here you go. Just wanted to get. Thank you. Thank you. How's that second beer? Good, Ty. It's Jenny, where I used to work. Huh. Which of the brands? Regular Jenny. It's their uh, main, their main brand. Huh. Excuse me. Hey, what was it like working there? It was fun. What did you like most? The people. I like working at the post office better though. Because I'm outside by myself and I walk around. Oh, that feeling's natural. Uh-huh. We were made to do things and to get out in the world. That's right. So what did you like the least about working at Jetty's? I don't know. It was, it was a lot of fun. The people were real. I went to football games with a ton of people. We hung out. It was, it was a good time. Huh. How are your burgers? Very good. I have to agree with you. I did a bit of work shortly before we left for this place on the Captain Marvel Star Foam drawing. Oh, yeah? Adding a bit more detail with a, a relatively fresh black Sharpie marker. What did you think? It was good. I can see everything. The star on her uh, chest. Can't wait to see you color it all in. Yeah, same here. Though it's easy to get distracted when you want to work on the 99 dead hammy. <laughs> and I think I'm gradually getting back on a good sleep schedule. Don't you think so too? Mm -hmm. This is good because uh, 
this will lead to me being more productive. That's what I think, at least. Right. It's kind of hot. It's not that spicy. Well, you got ketchup and relish and all that. True. That and I think I have more spice tolerance. <laughs> You think? To be honest, yeah. So when are you going to try mom's uh, uh, sauces? Uh, soon, I think. <laughs> you got to use it as a food adder. You got to put it on something. I know. I don't know what to do. I want to be there when you try it. It's going to be hot. I know. I know that mad dog doesn't mess around. <laughs> I know their name. Maybe I'll put a drop in a bowl of chicken noodle soup or something. Stir it around, make spicy chicken noodle soup. Yeah, you can do that. And I guarantee you, despite diluting it a bit, it'll still be spicy because those sauces have something like a million Scoville units. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I can take I am getting that liquor taste. Oh yeah. Yeah, after taking a relatively big sip through a straw. But you said it tastes good, right? Yeah. I know I said I don't use straws, but they provided it anyway. I 
I found an Indian head nickel. 1934, Tyler. At the pawn shop? No, I, I don't know how I got it, but I showed it to them and they said it's worth a dollar. A dollar? Yeah, a nickel. A nickel's worth a dollar. Why sell something so priceless for just a dollar? Well, it's probably not priceless. I mean, what can you buy for a dollar? I don't know. We should keep that coin. I am. Good. I'll show it to you. Remind me. I got it in my carry-o. Mm -hmm. Are you full? No. Just kind of tired, I think. Oh. Well, don't fall asleep here. Wait till we get home, all right? All right. I intend for it to just be a short nap. You better wake me up at 10, okay? All right. Well, you got to promise me on that. All right, by the time we get home, then you want me to wake you up at 10? Yeah. All right. So I can have some soup later. Oops, I accidentally caught myself red-handed with my own camera. You did what? I <laughs> caught myself red-handed with my own camera. Eating off the table? No, off the tray. But hey, <laughs> we're part of the Clean Plate Club. Or at least I am. You did a good job, Ty. <laughs> Thanks. How was your meal? That's good. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a few of your leftover fries. Okay. I hardly tasted the mustard. <laughs> it gives it a little nice taste. Cheers again. Cheers, Ty. That's all we've got left to finish now. Yep. Thanks for taking me out You're welcome, buddy. to eat tonight. Well, tomorrow I gotta go to Wegmans. Oh, for what? I don't know, I'll get some food. Hardly enough. I was just about to verify that I had finished that waiter story when it suddenly just froze up. Oh, yeah. It just kept buffering, so I had to quit out. And oh. now I have to do it all over again at some point.
But hey, I've met my experience goal, so it's all right. It was enjoyable. The Dolingo stories are enjoyable, so no problem going for one again. Do you want to film me again? All right. How was everything, Ty? Great. Thumbs up? Yeah, thumbs up. All right. Everything's gone. Did a good job, buddy. Thanks. Found it out. Can you upend your thumb like this? No. The, this is called. This is a. Uh, hereditary? Hereditary, yes. Does mom do it? No idea. I don't think so. The, this is known as the uh, Hitchhiker's Thumb. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I never noticed that on you, Ty. Huh. I noticed what it. What about on your other thumb? Really? On both of them? Wow. Yeah. Huh. I noticed when I played a game yeah, mine? on genetics or hereditics that mentioned it. Huh. All right. Wow. I never noticed that. Let's see those thumbs. Just make it straight, though. Huh. So it bends there. All right. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what causes it. Well, well like you said, it, hereditary. Mine, mine's straight up, and that's it. Yeah. You must have like another bone that bends it. Mm, possibly. I was thinking I'm missing ligaments. Well, maybe. That isn't necessary. Right. Does it hurt? No.